You want to make it upbeat and positive. That's fun. That's interactive. Really, harm reduction is even more important this year than ever. We've seen more than 140,000 overdoses this year in the U.S. Fox 5 has told you about the work of Harm Reduction Circle. Take it out of the package and you insert it into someone's nose. They bring thousands of doses of naloxone or Narcan and fentanyl test strips straight to the party on busy festival weekends to help people stay safe. If you see them in these t-shirts at festivals, you can ask them anything. The mission is life-saving as they work to break stigmas surrounding overdose prevention. I started doing this because uh, the people around us, we just started losing everybody, uh, especially after COVID. Uh, there was no sense of moderation. You want people to feel enticed and comfortable to come approach you and ask about these things. Fentanyl is primarily driving our overdoses, our fatal overdoses in Clark County. We're also seeing an alarming trend uh, of fentanyl being adulterated into stimulants. So that's things like cocaine and methamphetamine. And that suggests to us that there are uh, people who are using fentanyl who don't know that that's what's in their supply. In the Valley over the past few years, deaths soared and skyrocketed in 2023 from fentanyl overdoses. Nevada launched a naloxone saturation program, and with more funding, the health district started to distribute thousands more doses. They started tracking locations. Most overdoses occur in the center of the valley, in tourist hotspots, and places where the unhoused sleep on streets. Workers in turn distribute Narcan to places like Track B or hand them out on the streets. Ensure that we can uh, most effectively meet folks where they're at, meet that need. 51% of Americans have been trained on CPR at some point in their life. You learn CPR to facilitate the people around you. Same thing with carrying naloxone. Harm Reduction Circle is in the Valley all through EDC. They are only a text, phone call, or Instagram message away. The contact information is on our website in this story. Many overdoses occur in homes, and the health district is working on a way for more people to request test strips in the mail so they can have it at home.